Okay, I'm not gonna lie. Some of these products that I gathered for this video brought back a lot of feelings. It reminds me of a darker time, okay? <laughs> Hi friends, today's video is gonna be a little different, but also really fun. I have been wanting to share my pregnancy favorites with you guys. We're nearing the end here. I'm in my third trimester and I figured it'd be so fun to sit down and share with you all the essentials that have really carried me through my entire pregnancy. So I hope you guys are excited. <laughs> I know some of you probably aren't pregnant who are subscribed to my channel, or maybe you found this video because you are. And if so, congratulations. And I hope that these things help you. Um, keep in mind that pregnancy is different for everybody, okay? So these favorites worked for me. I will get into the details, obviously, as I share everything, but just kind of wanted to make that a disclaimer. All right, so we're gonna start off with body products first. One of the first things I added to my routine shortly after I found out I was pregnant, well, not too shortly, because I didn't really have a bump for too long, but I wanted a belly oil or something to nourish my belly as it was growing and stretching. So I actually fell in love with two. I still use these. The first one being the Summer Fridays Baby Moon Belly Balm. I really, really love this stuff. It's a thicker, oily consistency. It really hydrates and nourishes the skin. This is kind of a little bit more of a sticky formula. Not in a bad way though, but I say that because it's one that I would apply at night and I still do apply at night mostly. So it's kind of like my nighttime belly treatment, if you wanna call it that. My sister actually ended up buying me this one a little bit later and I've used it so often. It doesn't look like it, but this oil goes a long way, like a little goes a long way. This is the Ever Eden Golden Belly Serum. This is like more of a drop oil and this actually absorbs really, really well into the skin and doesn't leave much of a residue at all. So this was like my daytime one if I was moisturizing and then this one has been my nighttime one. So loving these two, have loved them for, you know, many months. Wanted to make sure to kick this video off with some belly oils. <laughs> I actually had this next product in my routine before getting pregnant, but I used it even more religiously after because it just really felt like a spa treatment and it's also really great for circulation. It's great to help prevent stretch marks. It's just great for everything. And that's dry brushing. So this is a body dry brush. This is my favorite one. It's from the brand Higher Dose. It's absolutely incredible. I've talked about this before on my channel, but this is great for lymphatic drainage, like I said. It just feels really nice. And so before a shower or a bath, I like to use this. It's so soft and gentle, but it just really feels nice. I don't know, and it helps de-puff. I can't say enough good things about this. It's by far my favorite dry brush I've ever used. You can look up, you know, benefits of dry brushing and kind of research more of the benefits, but like I said, this had already been in my routine and I appreciated it and still am appreciating it now that I'm pregnant. It's just everything feels like even more of a treatment, you know, especially when it's something that you can do, because there's a lot of things that I've had to kind of press pause on. Higher Dose actually makes an incredible infrared um, sauna blanket, which I got to try out for maybe two months before I got pregnant, and then I obviously am not able to use it right now. <laughs> so the next best thing was just continuing my dry brushing, and I've absolutely loved it. In my pregnancy updates video that I filmed, if you haven't seen that, where I kind of share the whole story, um, I'll have that in the description box down below, as well as our pregnancy announcement video, I'll have that too. But I mentioned in that video, and I'll mention it again, the first trimester was especially tricky for me. I did have nausea, and I was so sensitive to scents. It, I still am, like I feel like my sense of smell is heightened, but it didn't make me as nauseous as it did in the first trimester. And I think that's typical. I think you usually have even more of a heightened sense of smell in the very beginning, um, at least I did. So I already luckily was kind of picky about fragrances in my products, but like I couldn't do any fragrances. It didn't matter if it was even like an essential oily type of natural fragrance. Like I couldn't do it. I literally couldn't handle it. So fragrance free products were my best friends. <laughs> Starting with a body wash. I love this so much. This is the Naturium The Soother Sensitive Skin Body Wash. I am obsessed with this. <laughs> Check it out. It's fragrance free. It's so gentle on the skin. It's so hydrating and it's just absolutely phenomenal. So this came in handy, still does. I still use this like crazy. It's my favorite right now. So out of the shower, there are some fragrance-free body products that I'm really loving still and have really loved for almost my entire pregnancy. The first one being the Necessaire Body Serum. This is like a really beautiful hydrating serum for the body. It just makes me feel pampered, but it absorbs into the skin. You're not left with anything sticky. It's beautiful and fragrance-free, which is key. And then also I paired that 
with the body lotion from Necessaire. Love these two together. They're so nice and yeah, the fragrance free thing really, really, really helped me. Plus they're just incredible products anyway. Like I'm gonna be using those after my pregnancy as well. And like I said, some of these things I already used beforehand. Another thing that really has come in handy and has remained a favorite of mine throughout my pregnancy is the Naturium Biolipid Restoring Lotion. Again, fragrance free. <laughs> Literally cannot handle fragrance, and this is just an incredible all-over body lotion. It's been great. I've loved it. It really absorbs into the skin. It's so beautiful. And even though it's fragrance-free, the actual product itself doesn't smell weird. It just is so nice. So I've really loved this one as well. I mentioned a few times to you guys here on my channel that I was trying to find a mineral sunscreen for my body soon after becoming pregnant because I was already sensitive and aware of mineral sunscreens for my face before getting pregnant, but I hadn't really dove into the body sunscreen situation until afterwards. And I was really trying to be more conscious about the products that they put on my body, um, especially sunscreen. So I didn't wanna use a chemical sunscreen through my pregnancy and I was pregnant through summer mostly. So anyway, I tried a few different mineral sunscreens. Some of them I absolutely hated because they just smelled horrific. <laughs> and then I landed on this one and I love it so much. This is the Pipette Mineral Sunscreen SPF 50. It looks incredible all over the body. It kind of leaves like a gorgeous glow slash sheen. I love this. Um, it's also fragrance free, which is so important. I'm telling you guys, I couldn't have been more thankful for fragrance free products than <laughs> the past seven and a half months or eight months, however long it's been. I'm so thankful. So love this stuff. I will continue to use this after pregnancy as well. And I will also be using it on my baby because this is technically actually a baby brand. And if it's good enough for me, it's gonna be good enough for my baby. So I really, really, really have been enjoying this. It's absolutely amazing. So of course I was picky with body care, but also my skincare. My skin actually luckily didn't change that much. I was a little bit nervous. My esthetician always told me that my skin was gonna go one of two ways, either most people experience like really, really nice skin or they experience the complete opposite. And for me, because I've had acne prone skin like my whole life, I was kind of expecting horrific skin, honestly. And luckily that has not been the case, which I've been really thankful for. So I've kept my routine really simple. I obviously had to cut out some of my favorite treatments and active ingredients like retinol, microcurrent, microneedling, any of those things that I used to really love and enjoy, I've put on pause. And we've kept it very simple and you guessed it, fragrance free. <laughs> so one of my pregnancy favorites is the Skin Fix Foaming Oil Cleanser. This just is such a good one and done cleanser. And especially in the first trimester where I was super nauseous and I was still filming videos. So I just needed a cleanser that was gonna be quick, that wasn't gonna smell funny. I was gonna get the job done and be really gentle on my more sensitive skin. I will say I do think my skin was more sensitive. It didn't like break out or anything as bad as I thought, but it definitely has been more sensitive. So I've just been trying to use like gentle products throughout my pregnancy. I absolutely love this stuff. It's incredible. I also continued using one of my favorite creams. This is the Skin Fix Barrier Plus Triple Lipid Peptide Cream, an incredible ultra hydrating face cream that I love and I feel like it's really contributed to my overall skin health and maintaining my skin health throughout my pregnancy. This is just a great simple routine on lazy days or lazy nights, <laughs> especially when I wasn't feeling my best. I didn't really have the energy for a full on skincare routine. Now I feel like I enjoy it a little bit more, but I literally would get dizzy just standing there. So I had to do something <laughs> really quick sometimes and this combo right here always came in handy. It still does, I love it. And I've used these products before being pregnant and I will continue using them after, they're just amazing. So Hailey Bieber launched her skincare brand right in the middle of my pregnancy. I picked up everything and luckily everything that she launched was fragrance free and all of the ingredients were pregnancy safe. So I had a lot of fun <laughs> trying these out. I incorporated them straight into my routine. So the Rode Peptide Glazing Fluid, I'm all out of this. I wish they would restock. I know they've restocked a couple of times and I keep missing it. So really, really enjoyed this serum right here. I also thoroughly enjoyed the Barrier Restore Cream. And then my top pick though from Rode is the Peptide Lip Treatment. This one is actually the Salted Caramel. I prefer the Unscented because, you know, fragrance free. I am enjoying the Salted Caramel one now. Fragrances really aren't bothering me as much as 
they did in the beginning. Um, but the unscented lip balm was so helpful because it's like right under your nose. So having something that would nourish my lips that didn't smell like anything. I know that sounds so simple, but it really made a difference for me. <laughs> Any fragrance that I could cut out, I would cut out. So love this lip balm. It really hydrates the lips. It's absolutely incredible. I hope she restocks that soon too. <laughs> When I started feeling better into my second trimester, which was such a relief, <laughs> I found myself really wanting to do more spa treatments with my skin. But again, I had to keep it kind of simple. So I have two face masks that I really, really enjoy that are so gentle on the skin, yet they really help to just kind of clear out the pores. There's not any like active, super harsh acids in these masks or anything like that, which was really helpful in just maintaining like the overall health of my skin and treating my skin without compromising it since it was so sensitive and still is more sensitive than it used to be. So I have been loving this Mara mask through my pregnancy, loved it before, still loving it. It's the Volcanic Sea Clay Detox Mask. I love this because it's so gentle and it's really actually almost a hydrating clay mask in a way. It doesn't dry down like a lot of clay masks to where it feels like it's gonna crack off your skin. It's really luxurious, really beautiful, and leaves your skin feeling nice and plump and soft while still like pulling out any impurities in the T-zone. It's amazing. I also love and have continued to love the Maylands from Honey Mud mask through my pregnancy. This is a really nice enzyme mask. So this one does have a little bit more of like an active ingredient profile to it, but it's such a beautiful formula. Her entire brand is really nice. This does have like a little bit of a stronger fragrance. So I will say I didn't use this until my second trimester on, and actually I've been using it quite a bit more recently in my third trimester, I've just been really enjoying soaking in, you know, quiet moments to myself before having a baby. And this is really a beautiful mask with really high quality ingredients. They're all handmade products. I love this brand so much and have been loving this mask recently, especially. I wanted to give a shout out to my favorite face sunscreen throughout my pregnancy, which has been the Summer Fridays Shade Drops. This is SPF 30, so if I wanted something a little bit more intense, I would actually just use the pipette one on my face. I didn't find that it broke me out or anything, but this one works great under makeup, and so I've loved this one my entire pregnancy, basically. I don't think it launched until I was like in the middle of my pregnancy, technically, but I've been really, really loving this as well. My esthetician told me that my skin was gonna be more sensitive to sunlight as well during pregnancy. I was already pretty religious with sunscreen before being pregnant, but I was extra and still am religious with sunscreen now that I am. And I definitely have noticed that I would get sunburnt more easily, unfortunately, even though I was consistent with sunscreen. Anyway, this came in handy quite a bit, especially during the summer. I love this stuff. So like I mentioned before, I had to press pause on any microneedling or microcurrent or retinol, things like that, you know, that I was enjoying quite a bit before being pregnant, which was kind of a bummer because I was like, oh no, is my skin gonna completely change and like feel different if I can't do some of those like rejuvenating treatments that have really worked for me in the past. But luckily, I had a couple of devices that were pregnancy safe that I've been using consistently throughout my pregnancy. And I feel like I noticed such a difference with these products. I've talked about them before. The first one is this contour kinetic skin toning device. I've talked about this before. This is actually a product that I heard about from Jessica Alba on Tati's channel years ago. Didn't buy it until more recently and I absolutely love this. So it basically just like tones your skin. You push this button here, there's three different levels, face, mild, and then neck. And it basically just like creates a suction on your face and then you just drag it along the face and it helps just tone the skin, it helps bring blood to the surface of the skin, which helps rejuvenate the skin. I swear to you guys, this thing works so well. I notice a major difference and I love that it's not anything super invasive. It's literally just a massage for your face and it makes the biggest difference over time. It helps your skincare absorb deeper into the skin. I feel like if I use it before makeup, it makes my makeup look incredible. I don't know. Love this thing so much. I have also loved my LED face mask. This one is from Omnilux. It looks a little crazy. <laughs> I've loved LED treatments in the past and I had only a handheld one for the longest time. And then Omnilux sent me this full face mask and it's just amazing. So this just uses medical grade LED light and the wavelengths of the light basically go into your skin and promote 
you know, certain things, depending on the color of light. You can really go on a deep dive on LED therapy if you want to, but this mask has been amazing and it's just so nice for when I want to feel like I'm treating my skin in a non-invasive way that's safe. And so you just wrap it around your face like this. Don't I look cute? <laughs> And then you turn it on, which I'll show you. It's got a little remote. It actually is so nice because you just charge this. So you can literally walk around the house if you want to. I don't usually walk around the house because I just like to lay there and take a little nap while this is running. But you just press the button, the light turns on, you can see the red light, hopefully. I mean, yeah, you can. And then you just sit here for, I think the timer is 10 minutes. So I usually do just like a 10 minute treatment. And then the lights do the rest. Honestly, it's a fascinating treatment. I highly recommend you look into it. There's lots of information on the Omnilux website if you're curious about that stuff, but I wanted to make sure to mention my skincare devices that I feel like are so effective and non-invasive whatsoever. So really, really a huge fan of these two things. All right, this is kind of a random product and I will definitely be sharing more of this in my best of videos that are coming later this year, but I had to mention it. Just like how fragrances in products were a no-no for me <laughs> in my pregnancy, I also couldn't stand having the taste of food left in my mouth after eating. So I would brush my teeth so often and I have found my favorite toothpaste of all time, you guys. This is called Boca. It's the Element Toothpaste. It is absolutely incredible. The thing that I love about this, listen, I gotta slow down because I could talk for an hour about this toothpaste, but in a nutshell, and I'll share more in my best of video because spoiler, this is gonna be in that. But just like I've been kind of cautious about what I'm putting on my skin, I also, you know, have been looking at things like toothpaste and deodorant, things like that. And I always went for a fluoride-free toothpaste because if you swallow that, it's not the best for your body, not the best if you're pregnant. So I was trying to find a fluoride-free toothpaste, but the problem is if you take out fluoride, there's no longer an active ingredient in your toothpaste to actually remineralize and strengthen the enamel on your teeth, which was a concern for me moving into pregnancy, especially because I always hear from people that like, oh my gosh, your teeth change during pregnancy. Like they become more sensitive or, you know, nutrients can be extracted from your teeth. I don't know. <laughs> Just random things like that. That's not factual, but that's just the things that I heard from people. And so I found this toothpaste, you guys. I'm absolutely obsessed with it. It has a non-toxic active ingredient called nanohydroxyapatite, completely safe for pregnancy, completely safe for kids, even if you swallow it. It's gentle, it's non-toxic, and it actually remineralizes your teeth. So it strengthens your teeth without fluoride. I actually feel like it works better than my fluoride toothpaste used to. I'm absolutely obsessed with this. I said I wouldn't talk too long about this, but here I am, five minutes minutes later. Point is, best toothpaste ever. And I love the flavor of it as well. It's not too overpowering. It's so lovely. And you know how some toothpaste after you wake up the next day leave a weird flavor in your mouth? That one doesn't. And that's something that I couldn't handle during my first trimester either was like if I woke up and I had a weird taste in my mouth, it was the end for me. So that toothpaste has come in handy in more ways than one. I absolutely love it. If you can't tell, I'm passionate about that toothpaste. I love it so much. All right, we're gonna get into some of the more random pregnancy favorites and essentials outside of beauty slash skincare products. I've got the first one here. Here she is. This is called the BB Hug Me Pregnancy Pillow. And this has been with me since the beginning, honestly. And I still use this every single day. I actually just barely bought um, like a U-shaped pregnancy pillow that I'm gonna try. My belly is just getting so heavy now that I feel like I need some back support, but this has been incredible. You can adjust the pillow. You can take this right here and adjust it to change the firmness of the little beads inside. So this is actually just a pillowcase. The pillow's on the inside. You can change these on both sides to adjust the firmness. And it just like contours the body really, really nicely. You can also use it like around yourself or behind yourself if you need help like sitting up or if you need extra support that way. I loved it. It's been a great little pillow. So I wanted to make sure to mention that. Okay, I'm not gonna lie. Some of these products that I gathered for this video brought back a lot of feelings, okay? <laughs> I'm so thankful for this product, but it reminds me of a darker time, okay? <laughs> but the C-Band Anti-Nausea Wristbands, these came in handy so many times. They didn't work for me every day, which was the most frustrating part of my first trimester. There was just certain remedies that would work really well for me one day that wouldn't work at all the next day. It was just truly a mystery every single day. But these basically have little acupressure points on the inside. So you wear them just right here 
on your wrist. There's like instructions to know where exactly to put them. And it just kind of applies pressure and it really helps me relieve so much nausea, especially on flights, car rides. And also when I hadn't told my family yet, I would wear these on the car ride down and then I would wear like long sleeves over top and it really, really helped me just kind of curb some of those dizzy and nauseous moments. So highly recommend that you at least have these in your stash right when you find out if you're pregnant because it's just one of those things that really can come in handy. Again, doesn't work for everybody. It didn't work for me every single time, but the majority of the time it really was so helpful and I'm thankful for them. If I was out and about, ate something and then couldn't stand the taste of whatever was in my mouth or was feeling nauseous. These tummy drops really came in handy several times. These are the peppermint ones. They also make ginger ones, but I didn't really use those as much. I didn't like them as much. Um, I really enjoyed the peppermint ones a little bit more. So wanted to mention those. Those are a great thing to have in your pantry. Okay, these next things. <laughs> okay, this is like my favorite thing maybe, I think. <laughs> And it's so random, but I actually, in my first trimester, all I wanted to do was take a shower, but I was so dizzy. I know it sounds crazy, but I was so dizzy that standing in the shower was just like, it would make me feel nauseous. So I told my husband one day, I was like, is there any sort of like shower bench? Is there any sort of seat that I could use in the shower to just sit there and shower instead of having to stand up? He comes back from Walmart with this shower bench, you guys. And this is the one right here that I have. It's way too big for me to like hold on camera, so I'll just pop the picture up right here. I literally have this in my shower. I still use it because I love it so much. It came in handy specifically in my first trimester when I was super woozy, dizzy, and nauseous. And I could just sit and just wash my hair without standing up or turning around or getting dizzy. And I still use it, you guys, because Heaven knows it is so hard to even shave my legs these days with my belly being so big. So <laughs> the bench is really, really nice to have to prop my leg up when I'm shaving or I sit on it and just shave sitting down, which is really nice. I love this seat so much. It sounds like such an extra product, but I'm telling you, it's like my favorite thing slash favorite discovery from my pregnancy. I'm not kidding. The next thing on the list that I absolutely love is something that we actually had before pregnancy, but I became so thankful for it, especially in the first trimester again. And it's this right here. This is the Koe Air Mega True HEPA Purifier. It's an air filter purifying thing. Yeah, an air purifier. <laughs> you know what I mean? The best thing about this, not only does it like clean toxins out of the air and dust, but food smells. Oh my goodness, you have no idea how thankful I was for this. Because I'm telling you, if I could cooked something in the house or if somebody cooked something, cause a lot of times I couldn't even stand to cook anything for myself. But if food was made in the house and if I could smell the food throughout the night, I wouldn't sleep. Like that's how strong my sense of smell was in the beginning. And this helped clear out the food smell. It's just, it was a lifesaver. I still love these. Like I said, we loved these before I was pregnant, but I was especially grateful in my first trimester having an air filter to just get rid of smells. I don't know. It was absolutely heaven and I still use them. We still love them. We have several of these around our house now. My husband and I are both obsessed. The air just feels fresh when you use this anyway, but the fact that it can take away any strong smells makes it incredible. All right, we're gonna talk about some clothing favorites because that's been a challenge, <laughs> is to try to find clothes that fit me and that will grow with me. Um, I'm nearing the end of my pregnancy, like I said, so my closet is down to like mm, three or four things now. But in the second trimester when I had you know, a bump that was growing but not too big, so many things worked for months for me. And so many of these things are things that I can wear after my pregnancy, which was really important to me. Um, I did buy some maternity things, but not all maternity things because I wanted to be able to wear them after being pregnant. So huge shout out to Aerie, first of all. Some of the sweaters that I love the most were not available on their website, but I'll have a couple linked down below that are kind of similar to what I was wearing and loving. I also have a favorite bra from Aerie that was really, really handy and helpful. It wasn't too restricting, and so I'll have that linked down below. On Amazon, I did end up picking up maternity leggings. I will say that was a must have for me, still is. That's all I wear right now. But the maternity leggings from Motherhood brand 
on Amazon were my go-to, still are my go-to, love them. Sometimes I feel like I'm saying this like it's past tense, like I'm not pregnant anymore, but I, but I certainly am. Anyway, love those. I also picked up a three pack, I'll pop up a picture here, but I also have one of them. Compression socks, people, for airplanes. If you're going on a baby moon or traveling at all, or if you just need help with swelling in your legs or circulation, you know, these compression socks have come in handy more than not. I also, when we went to Disneyland with my sisters, we walked around so much and my legs were killing me by the end of the day and I also had like fluid retention in my legs. So I wore these compression socks at night and it got rid of like everything. It was really great after those long Disney days. So I wanted to mention the socks. Shout out to free people, okay? <laughs> Free people should have sponsored my pregnancy <laughs> because I spent so much money <laughs> on that brand. I have loved free people before, but just because everything's oversized and it's supposed to be that way, so it's gonna work for me after being pregnant, I spent so much money. The first thing that I love, this is something that I had before. This is the Ruby jacket, and then also the go-to jumper, which is this right here. Let me see if I can scooch back a little. Hmm. It's a jumpsuit. Hey, there's baby. This is starting to become a little bit small for me, but still fits, which is impressive since I'm, again, in my third trimester. I have like a month left, which is crazy. <sighs> Love these two things so, so much. Also, I'm a huge fan of the Free People Haley sweater set, which I'll have a picture of right here, um, and I'll have a link down below. And then also, could not get enough of this one dress. I actually found out about this jumpsuit and then this dress that I'm gonna mention from Rosalie Rouge on Instagram. She was pregnant this year. She had a baby in September, and so she posted some of her favorite like outfits, and I bought everything she recommended. So these two things are from her recommendation, and I highly, highly recommend them if you are pregnant as well, because again, they stretch with you. You can wear them before, during, and after pregnancy. They're just great. So right here, this is the Free People Riding Waves dress. I bought this in three colors now. <laughs> I love it so much. But this was me on my baby moon with that dress on, it's basically all I wore. I brought many dresses to wear, but I wore that one the most. It's just so comfortable. All right, so my pregnancy shoes of the year are these. <laughs> These are the cushiest, most loveliest shoes in the world. I have a beige pair that I wear outside. This is actually my indoor pair because I have wood floors upstairs and my feet just hurt, they hurt now. I just feel like the weight of my belly and everything puts a lot of pressure on my feet and so having something squishy to walk around in is great inside the house and outside the house. Um, they sell these everywhere. I will link some from Amazon. They are fabulous. And then I wouldn't be a Utah mom. <laughs> Not that I'm a mom yet, but I live in Utah, you know what I mean? If I didn't have the Stanley Cup. Listen, these are worth the hype, okay? I used to not even care about cups like this, okay? My husband's the one who actually fell in love with these first because he's more of like a drink guy. He always has a drink with him everywhere. Me, mm, I didn't really care that much, but since being pregnant, I have been so much more thirsty and these have come in handy like crazy. So this is one of the tumblers with the handle. I always have one of these full of water every single day. This is the larger one. This is what I use the majority of my pregnancy, but more recently, I really, really like this style, which has the handle on it because I don't have to worry about the straw getting anywhere. So I can just kind of like lug it around if I've got a lot in my hands. I feel like this is gonna come with me to the hospital for sure. And these will be by my nightstand after I have the baby as well. I just know they're gonna be essentials for me to stay hydrated, you know, during postpartum and breastfeeding and all of that. So really, really happy about my Stanley Cups as well. I'll have those linked down below for you guys if you don't have them. I think they are worth the hype, honestly. And I'm not even a drink person. So if you're a drink person, they're gonna be even more worth the hype to you. You know what I'm saying? All right, you guys, that's everything. I know this was such a random video, well, not really, because I guess I'm pregnant, but it feels a little more random because I normally do like makeup tutorials, but I truly hope that you guys enjoyed seeing some of the things that have carried me through my pregnancy so far. <sighs> I'm out of breath now. <laughs> That's another lovely, lovely third trimester symptom. Actually, I was out of breath in the first trimester too. It was one of my symptoms. I've, I've been out of breath my whole pregnancy. Who am I kidding? But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed seeing some of my favorites. If you guys have pregnancy essentials that I didn't mention or maybe I didn't even know about, I would love to hear from you. So please comment down below letting me know what your pregnancy must-haves were or are if you are pregnant. If you're not pregnant, uh, a lot of these products you can still enjoy. <laughs> 
like these or like any of the body care products. So I hope you guys enjoyed just hearing some of my favorite products in general. And if you are currently pregnant, again, congratulations. And I hope that these are helpful to you. So that was so fun to sit down and film. I'm sure I'll look back at this and reminisce on these days <laughs> in a month or so. But truly, I was so thankful for all these products over the past several months and I hope that somebody finds this video helpful. So if you haven't subscribed yet, be sure to do so down below and then you can also click on the notification bell after you subscribe and that way you won't miss a video from me. I hope you guys have an amazing day wherever you are and I'll see you in my next video. Love you, bye.